Hey guys, this is the mouse wrist tendinopathy strengthening video that showcases three exercises that address the pain in this area shown. It's going to be something that you guys can do on a regular basis, three to four times a week or daily if you already have this pain pattern or if you want to prevent it. So let's go ahead and get into it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe or don't forget to check out the main guide that goes over the most common pain patterns for FPS games, specifically Fortnite from a questionnaire that we sent out to help understand what we deal with the most in terms of pain patterns at our wrist and hand as well as our general body. Learn more there. It'll be in the description and let's just get to it. All right, the very first exercise is the isometric ulnar deviation. This is a muscle activation exercise, but can also help with managing pain. Muscle activation meaning it allows our body to send better signals towards our muscles to have a stronger and more full contraction when we are utilizing the muscle. And in order to perform this, all you're gonna be doing is sitting upright, as shown, forearm supported, and you're resisting the movement of bringing your wrist up and out. And I'm going to be showing you guys some other variants. Here's what it looks like if you're trying to do it in standing with a neutral grip, preventing it from moving down towards the ground. And then I show you guys if the palm is down or in the pronated position. Uh, you guys can also tilt it like this. I I'm just showing you guys multiple angles and multiple grips to allow yourself to find the best hand grip and position to feel this exercise and feel the activation uh, when you're performing this. Remember, you're doing it three sets of 10, five seconds hold each time, and this is just exercise number one of the routine. The second exercise is just the dumbbell wrist extension. It's something that I've described many times before you want to make sure your forearms are supported i'm just demonstrating the actual movement itself make sure your chest is up forearms either supported by the table or your armrest and you're taking three seconds to move up three seconds to come down maintaining a strong grip on the dumbbell and we're repeating that three sets of 15 and you should feel it along the top side of your forearm where you might typically already feel the discomfort the last exercise is dumbbell ulnar deviation and this one is again specifically working on the muscle that's involved with this pain pattern all you're going to be doing is standing up as shown with your dumbbell keeping your elbow straight and then just tilting the dumbbell up towards the pinky side of your wrist and you're going slowly and controlled to allow yourself to gradually load your tendon work on increasing the tendon's capacity to tolerate repeated stress. We want to do this with a heavier weight. If you have something heavier than the one that you did previously with the three sets of 15, then I would select that weight, maybe 10 to 12 pounds. This is what it looks like closer up. You are maintaining the grip, moving it up towards the pinky side of the wrist. Again, performing three sets of eight and feeling it along the pinky side of your wrist. All right, that is all guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, this is something that's to be included at the beginning of every day. If you want a full guide or an actual schedule with when you should be doing it, check out the blog post that's affiliated with this YouTube video, as well as the main guide. That's sort of a better understanding of wrist pain and what we deal with, our demographics, all the details around the questionnaire and the research that we did. Yeah, thank you guys again. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys sometime soon.